How's it doing everyone? I've got another um, product to share with you guys, so let's get right to it. Um, the past few um, weeks, uh, month, um, I've had issues with um, my smart devices um, dropping off um, the connection. So it started with um, the smart front door lock that I installed. Um, Early or mid September, I stop um, I stop receiving notifications when somebody opens the, the lock, and um, after that, my um, camera um, is already like it's always saying offline, um, and then some of the lights that I have um, would like I would get notification that because I have I have it everything automated. Um, some of the lights would turn on at 6 a.m. and then would turn off around 8. So that's when um, Orchid is already sleeping, um, Shan would already be at school or um, already um, preparing to leave for school. So I've got everything automated and then in the night um, the lights will then um, turn on. Um, some of the lights would reduce in brightness, you know, and then um, around midnight, everything will then turn off. So I've got everything automated, and I would always get notification that um, some of the lights were like um, they're not triggered, so they stopped responding. So I check with um, um, I've got a Linksys Velo before. Um, I check on the app and. Um, most of the devices are already on the um, I no, not connected or previously connected. So what I did is I reset everything. Um, I removed um, everything. I reset the um, the router, reconnected everything, and still um, still happening. And um, including the HomePod Mini that I've got in our bedroom, um, sometimes like because I've got two smart lights in our um, in our um, in our bed, which um, I would command you know, sleep lights or um, turn off turn off lights. Um, most of the time, the HomePod Mini would say I've got trouble connecting to the internet so um, ultimately it led to uh, my Linksys um, Velop uh, router before so um, the good thing is um, when you purchase something or when you purchase a product here in Australia you're covered by the Australian consumer law so if the product is not it's not um, functioning or it's not working um, as expected for it to function then you do have your Australian consumer law rights and since I bought that um, router in store in our store um, so essentially like con um, consumer law rights would typically would run um, for two years uh, but other uh, what is calling ma hi ma hi ma nag recording ko Sorry about the interruption. Yeah, so going back to it, um, under your Australian consumer law, if the product is not working as expected, um, and if it's a major fault, then you can either um, have it refunded, repaired, or replaced. Um, that's your th um, that's the three options that you have. So. Um, 
I had it refunded essentially because we no longer have um, that specific model in store. So I had it refunded and I got um, another one. Okay. So um, I still have, I still got the Linksys um, Velop system. This is the AX4200. Um, it's a two pack. So I got um, two nodes and it is already um, Wi-Fi 6 um, capable. So yeah, um, two nodes would give you up to 500 square meters of coverage, which is more than what I would need. Um, but yeah. So this would still be um, like a mesh um, Wi-Fi system. So, and it's already capable of Wi-Fi 6. And um, what good is that is with Wi-Fi 6, it gives you um, fast internet speed. Um, take advantage of, like if you've got a very fast um, home internet, then you'll be able to take advantage of that, right? Okay. So, um, that's the front of the box, that's the side, that's the back, and that's the other side, which gives you all the, um, all the tech specs. Let's go ahead and open it up. So I purchased um, my last Linksys Velop um, August of last year. So it's just a little bit over a year. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened to it, but yeah, it's just that all my devices were dropping off. And yeah, luckily, Um, this shows the Shuma Law. So I was able to return it, um, get a refund for it, and was able to get this. Okay. So the first uh, the first one that I got was a, it was only a one one node um, router. Because essentially, um, I don't need two um, for the space that we have at the moment. Um, but we didn't have any stock on the one node um, today, so I went for um, the two nodes. Which is much more, much more than what I would need, but I would still be able to use it when um, when we have the house, and I'll probably get another node just uh, for good measure um, when we have the now uh, that uh, will be on the new house. So this is how um, looks. The previous one that I got. Um, it was a previous generation model of this. Um, it was much more smaller. Um, this is definitely much, much bigger than that. Um, so that's the bottom. It's got uh, the on off switch. And at the back, so it's got the power, power port. And you have four um, ethernet connections. So one would be one would be used as the main, the, the main line, uh, which is labeled as internet. And then, so that means you have three ethernet ports free. Um, the previous one that I've got, it only got two. So one would be where you plug the um, ethernet from your main modem 
or for your, from your main router. Um, and then the other one is if you've got um, a device that, um, that you can plug into um, the router, which for me, um, so I don't know if you can see that, that's where I place my router. I do have a gateway for the um, IKEA, IKEA um, smart lights that I have. So I would need um, I would need a a bridge for that, and that bridge I need to plug in uh, to Ethernet. So I would definitely need one of that. And the good thing about this, you still have um, available two Ethernet ports. So if you have any other device like um, a gaming console or like whatever, what not. Um, then you can still plug it in and then you also have a USB um, type A connector I don't know what's that for um, I would have to like um, do a research on that but there's a lot of um, resources available for you so you might as well you can also um, check that out for yourself um, what is this? Something in the hands? Oh, yeah. Uh, call, call. <laughs> okay. And yeah, as I've said, I've got two nodes. Um, shouldn't matter which one would act as the as a primary, but yeah, one would be the primary. You plug it to your um, router, then the other one you just need to plug it to power and add it as a second um, note. And so I've got two um, power adapters. And I've got one um, man cable. And we have like a quick start guide and some documentation right here so that's what it's inside the box um, I'm just gonna make this as um, an unboxing video um, if you wanna check how to set it up um, there's a lot of available videos on YouTube and um, if you go to like the um, Linksys um, website there's a tutorial as well that is available for you so i'll end it here i'll go ahead and set it up um it's a pretty straightforward process when i did it the last time you just need to download the app turn on the first node and then um there's a step that you need to follow um when you turn it on check the status light it would uh, mean that it's ready to yeah so ready for setup um, when it says ready for setup then um, you just need to follow the steps on the app and that's it you should be able to uh, set up your home internet yeah thanks for watching see you again next time